Okay, so today we're going to learn how do we fix a Galaxy Tab 3 when it stops working. Dear Darren, I think my daughter has pressed some buttons on my Galaxy Tab 3 and now it won't start. Do you think you can have a look and fix it for me? If your job is IT orientated, I strongly suggest you don't tell anybody about it or you will be inundated with people asking you to fix things from calculators, television remote controls, laptops, you name it. They will expect you to be able to fix it and find it an absolute pleasure to do so and want to do it all for free. Pump it louder, pump it louder, pump it I tried to switch it on and it would freeze on the Samsung screen. So the first thing I did was check the internet to see if there was a solution already out there. And it does seem to be a common problem. Everybody suggests it's what they call a battery bug. And the first thing you should do to try and fix this is what we call a cold reboot. Now the cold reboot I found on the internet was to hold the power button and the volume down button at the same time. And if you do this, apparently it's supposed to start rebooting uh, from factory default. Well, it didn't work for me. And then it said stage two would be to disconnect the battery and to do this, you have to take the entire console apart. Not the easiest thing in the world to do, but it's not that difficult. Once you get inside, it's then just a case of disconnecting the battery, reconnecting it and putting it all back together again. Now, this first time around did absolutely nothing for me, but then from reading further, I found out that you have to keep it disconnected for a full 30 seconds. My habit is to disconnect things for 10 seconds, so as you can imagine, I wasn't too impressed that I had to take it all apart again. So this time, I left it disconnected for five whole minutes, put it back together again, and absolutely nothing. Well, maybe. I'm actually mentioning the disconnecting and reconnecting of the battery as there is a possibility it was part and parcel of the entire fix. So therefore I strongly suggest if you're going to do it in the correct order that you do disconnect the battery first as it probably does make a difference. And then I was able to find a, a piece of software that would allow me to update the firmware um, with a fix that obviously resolves the issue with the battery. Before you can install the software, you need to install the Samsung drivers, of which I've put the link at the bottom of this particular video, so you can download the drivers, then you can download the software application, the link will be there as well, and then you will be able to install the firmware. The first firmware I used didn't work, because it was the firmware that came with it. Assuming the problem was the firmware version for my particular Tab 3, I investigated the internet further and I've now provided you the link of the one that I found that matched my version and then of course by installing it everything was hunky-dory. There is a possibility you have a different version out there so you might have to do a little bit more research to find the actual version of the firmware you need for your particular Tab 3 and if you do that I'm pretty confident everything will work. So installing the drivers, then installing the application, then it's a case of putting the uh, tab 3 into the correct state. To put the tab 3 into its state required in order to accept the firmware, you have to hold the center button in the middle of the tablet, you have to hold the volume down button, and you have to hold the power button all at the same time. Within a few seconds, you will actually get a warning screen coming up saying, are you sure? At this stage, you press volume up, and then it will tell you that it's going to start installing. At this moment, you can then plug the tablet into your computer, run the software, and if it finds it, you will know this because it will say COM and then a number. That means it's actually found your tablet and it's ready to move things forward. You then select the particular firmware on your machine that you've downloaded and then press the start button. Within approximately five minutes, the installation of the firmware should be completed. It will reboot. It will go through two particular uh, updates. One is to do with Wi-Fi. The other one I can't remember now, but just let it go through its process. And then everything should be absolutely fine. I hope this works for you as well as it did for me. And uh, any problems, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you.